Israel-Hamas conflict continues, parents are having to navigate difficult conversations with their children. News Channel 10, Sydney Batsloff joins us to explain how experts suggest talking to your children. The Israel-Hamas conflict is dominating headlines and social media with graphic images and devastating stories. Children are likely to be exposed to them. Experts say overconsumption of media in general and even more so of traumatic events can negatively affect mental health. A conflict thousands of miles away is bringing fear, confusion and sadness to those in the panhandle, including children. It's this turmoil of emotions all happening and they don't know how to let it out. They don't know what to do with it. And in this particular instance, there is very little that they can do. Flint says parents need to understand they cannot monitor everything their children will see and hear. One thing parents can do is create a safe space. For the most part, they're not going to have experience with this, these kinds of topics, and they're not always going to understand even what their own responses are. They may not understand why do I feel afraid, why do I feel confused. But if you have created a safe space for them to bring that up and to talk about it, then they're more likely to do that, and then you can talk about it with them. In order to create a safe space, Flint says parents need to take time to process the conflict on their own and ask children open-ended questions such as, what have you heard about this conflict? This is not going to be a one-time conversation. Every time it may come up, leave it open-ended and say, okay, is that all you have for now? Well, if something else comes up, let me know, and we can talk about it then. While some may feel helpless in the panhandle, experts say we can offer children opportunities for action, whether that's through prayer or good thoughts or using their piggy bank to donate to relief efforts.